Sin and aneuploidy. Different concepts, different consequences. Sin and aneuploidy are often used interchangeably, but they are different things and can have different effects on cells. Chromosomal instability, or SIN, is the process of chromosome missegregation during mitosis, which can lead to an altered copy number of chromosomes within the cell, also known as aneuploidy. While these two things are connected, they're not the same thing. Imagine a car accident. Chromosomal instability, or SIN, is like the car accident, while aneuploidy is like having dents in your car. Car accidents are a behavior of your car, while being dented is a state your car can have, just like sin is a behavior and aneuploidy is a state. Some car accidents can completely total your car, while others can have very minor effects, a few bumps and scratches. Similarly, some rates and form of chromosomal instability can be lethal to cells, while others can be very well tolerated. Additionally, most dents in your car make it harder to drive, but sometimes you can break off some heavy equipment in the back. This metaphor is getting a little out of hand, but aneuploidy is generally bad for cell survival, but can be favorable in some cases. While sin and the resulting aneuploidy often cause growth defects, they are selected for in cancers, with two-thirds of all cancers being aneuploid. This may seem paradoxical at first, how can something which causes a growth defect in most circumstances be beneficial to growth in cancer? This paradox can be better understood if you assess sin and aneuploidy separately, taking into account in vitro and in vivo contexts, the rate of sin, and the severity of the aneuploid karyotype. In this paper, we review different forms of sin and how they're measured in vitro, as well as discussing why it proves to be technically challenging to measure sin in vivo. However, due to cell type and context-dependent responses to SYN, the effects in SYN in vitro may not be representative of SYN in vivo. Additionally, SYN rates are not necessarily correlated to the levels of aneuploidy, so levels of aneuploidy cannot necessarily be used to estimate rates and types of SYN. Since SYN rates are predictive of tumor outcome and behavior, and SYN may also play an essential role in causing aging phenotypes in humans, we conclude that there is an urgent need for new models in which we can monitor chromosome missegregation and the consequences in vivo, so we can better understand the differences between chromosomal instability and aneuploidy.